Hey dear friends, this is Tatiana and today we're going to shoot some hoops in a game called, you guessed it, In The Hoop. In The Hoop was released back in June on App Labs and on Steam VR, and it's a really fun VR arcade basketball game. But very soon, on September 10th, a new update is coming out that will add a great lot of new content, such as new levels, modes, and unique gameplays. There is so much variety added to this game, which should really increase its replayability. And today, I'm going to check out this new update and see what it's like. Multiplayer is also coming to Indahu very soon, and I think it's a great choice for this game because being able to compete with your friends for the highest score is usually the most fun part in the arcade games. Thanks so much, Realcast, for providing me the copy of the game and for sponsoring this video. There is also a very easy way for you to get a free key for your friends so that you can play Indahu hoop together. Simply fill out this player's feedback form about your experiences playing in the hoop on their website and then leave a review of the game on oculus.com using the same oculus username. If you do both, you will receive your game key in the email that you listed in the form. The links to the form and to the oculus page are in the description below. It's an easy way to support the developers and get a free copy of the game. And now let's get into it! If you're ready, let's go! It seems like we are in some kind of an arcade bar. Or definitely a bar. Okay. And oh, it's like an old school arcade. It's a little bit weird that I can't grip my hands. It's just it's just like that. <laughs> They're a little bit wobbly. Like especially my thumbs. Look how wobbly my thumb is. We're going to play a tutorial first how we're going to shoot. Flip the dice to make a six on the table to your right. Oh, okay. I'm actually supposed to, to roll it to a specific number. It kind of feels weird that you are not pressing any buttons. You're just literally supposed to to put it together. Oops. By by clasping your hands together. This is more difficult than it seems. This seems like a game on its own. I don't even but it is just a tutorial for playing in the hoop. Oh, okay. This is fairly close. I feel like they are dumbing it down for me. They are literally explaining how basketball works. This looks nice. That was the laziest thing I've ever done. Oh, 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 it's a little bit further now. Okay. You know, I've played other basketball-like games in the past, and this one feels so far the most realistic. You're literally just clenching your hands together so that the ball doesn't fall through your hands. It's refreshing that you're not supposed to hold the button so that the ball is like stuck to your hand. This is more physical. Oh my god. This is not how hands work. Will hand tracking work here? Hold on. Is there hand tracking in this game? So actually, this game does support hand tracking. Unfortunately, when I was recording it the first time, for some reason it didn't turn on for me, so I proceeded playing with just my controllers, but hand tracking definitely works and you don't have this weird rubbery thing happening with your hands anymore. This looks much more natural now. Hmm, it's a little bit jumpy. I don't really know why. Uh, for some reason, my right hand is jumping more than left. Oh, uh, I'm not sure why this is happening. So the thing is, the hand tracking mode is available in this game, but you can only play it on the expert mode. If you want to play in the arcade mode, it's going to ask you to grab your controllers. You won't be able to play with your hands. But when you start playing, it will tell you that for the best hand tracking experience, you need to play in a well-lit environment and you need to have a contrast and colorful background. I actually have all of those things. I have two huge lamps shining at me as I'm recording this video, but I still see some strange issues with the hand tracking. So something's definitely happening with my right hand. <laughs> it, it kind of feels like I have a possessed, like this hand is possessed. We still need to remember that this update is only going to be released on September 10th and even after that the developers will continue to fix uh, bugs and any kind of glitches and um, just regular game fixes to improve the quality. So hopefully this is something that they will be able to fix really soon. Oh, 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 this one is more like real one because it's further. Ah! Oh, can I do it with one hand? Oh! One hand is more difficult. Well, <laughs> it doesn't stay on the hand. It's still pretty fun. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one. You're supposed to uh, it, hit it in the corner of this square like that. Well, see, these are easier for me to shoot because I kind of understand the logic behind it, even though it doesn't always work for me. <laughs> That would be really cool if this is the actual scale of how it's supposed to be like when you're playing basketball. Hey, can I even throw that far? Ah! Now I understand why they give points even if I touch the ring. Because this is freaking difficult. Throwing like a grandpa. Woo! <laughs> I'm embarrassed that it worked. Yay! Okay. Proud of that one. So, all of that was just training <laughs> okay <laughs> we're ready to play some challenges this new update that we're going to play today is called crabs quest summer shots and it nearly doubles the amount of uh, content in this game compared to the previous version in this new update we got summer shots which added 11 new very creative levels and also some challenges i'm going to show you summer shots and summer shots are the 11 new levels that we are going to play okay so uh, hi a little crab uh, can i help you invaders Ooh, oh i like this one this is my favorite so far oh so they get destroyed if i just hit them three times not necessarily if i get in the hoop i did not know that they made it easier that's how they reward you for at least hitting the hoop i didn't expect them to add these very creative levels so what if i hit the mouth of the snake or the head oh they added new balls uh oh hold on is it closed do i have to hit the tail first oh oh my god i can't believe i did it oh this would be so much fun to play with friends They also have some pretty fun music going on. I'm telling you, this game will be interesting even if you are not the biggest fan of basketball because this is just fun to play it. It's funny how you don't even notice how you're improving because you're practicing all the time. I thought I would just be at the same sucky level forever, but I'm actually getting a bit better. In all levels, the um, uh, hoops will keep coming until the time runs out. So when it runs out, you're just gonna get your final score. You have so much variety in this game. This is not just shooting hoops and that's it. There's actually so much going on here. And when multiplayer is added, you can play with your friends. This is going to be an even better game because you can smash these hoops with your friends and compete for higher score. It's a really pretty looking game. It works really smoothly. Yeah, I really enjoyed playing it today. While it might not seem like it, but this game is actually quite physically demanding. You might not have seen it in the video, but after playing for about 40 minutes, I was dripping with sweat. And this could be because of my terrible post-vacation shape, but the fact is, in the hoop is also a great cardio exercise. The game is super intuitive and it doesn't require a lot of time, so you can just play a few levels or a challenge and get your VR gaming dose for the day and your workout. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoy basketball arcade games and if you think you would enjoy in the hoop will you get it when the new update drops on september 10th if you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe to disco vr for more and follow me on twitter and instagram for more exciting updates in the vr world thank you so much for watching friends stay safe and as always happy gaming